Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at something that came in the mail. This is something that MFJ sent to me. Um, it's an MFJ 8504B. What on earth is that? It says SDR receiver multi-coupler with BNCs and no noise blanker. Okay, well let's just take a look and see what it is. I'll tell you what it is. This is something for those of you who like to experiment with software-defined receivers or have a number of receivers and you'd like them to share the same antenna, this would be really good for shortwave listeners who have multiple um, uh, receivers and maybe one or two antennas that you'd like to share between these receivers. This is, I think, best described as a distribution amplifier. Okay, now it will take for up to two antennas, but really it's set up for one. Although you can put two in there and put some filters in here. So one is for high bands, one's for low bands. Um, and then it will distribute to up to four. Let's take a look at it. This is the device. It's an MFJ 8504. Although 8504 is actually kind of a family of devices. It says dual antenna quad receiver uh, multi-coupler. A little bit easier to understand would be to call this a distribution amp. Okay, so you can have one, two, three, four receivers on here. They will each receive the same signal and it will not be, uh, you don't get coupling between these. Uh, there's some little nuances to that, but basically you don't. So I have one software-defined receiver coupled here. Now the antennas go in here and here, okay, on the back. They're BNC or you can get them SMA. Now these are, uh, this is antenna 1. Antenna 2 is not connected. Now if you want to use two antennas, you can put a filter here or a filter here or in both places, okay. And what the filters do is, for example, you can have your broadcast band and HF here and have this antenna be your VHF, okay, 30 megahertz and above. Now, the filters come in their own boxes and they're paid for separately. They're $21.95 each. This thing here's 150, I think. Yeah, 150 for this. Each of these filters is $22. Now let's take a look at a filter. Now they sent me three filters. Um, and these are things that uh, uh, you might find useful and you may not need them. I don't really need them here. I'm in a very radio quiet zone. Okay, this is the uh, high pass filter. So, if you want, oh, I'm sorry, it's very hard to get out. If you want, here is a, it's a high pass filter. Okay, it's the MFJ. 8504-HP high pass filter okay and these go like if you have an antenna that's 30 megahertz and above you would put this antenna here I put this filter here and then you could have your HF antenna come in here and then there is another filter that they sent me that is the low pass filter right here which you could put in here so you could have two antennas one high band one low band and so on okay now if you just have the one antenna it will distribute to all four 
But if you have two antennas that are different in character, you can filter in the one or filter in the other here. And there's no further switching that you have to do here. Now one thing to note, you do have to take the cover off to set this. There are a bunch of jumpers in here. The important jumpers are, note that it's assumed that receiver one will be there all the time. There's two uh, little ICs right there. These are MMICs, monolithic microwave integrated circuit, that are amplifying and distributing this with a zero dB gain. That means unity gain uh, through the thing. And in front of these three over here are jumpers and the jumpers go to 50 ohm resistors. So these are always terminated. You need to keep them terminated. Now if you add a receiver, they suggest putting the second receiver here or here, and then you can put the third receiver any place. But if you add a receiver there, you really should take out the jumper because you don't need that extra termination in there, okay? Now this is powered by 12 volts. So you've got a little light that comes on when you turn it on. If you turn this off, everything goes away. Okay, this doesn't pass anything. Um, but in this situation here, I have just the one SDR receiver hooked up right now. But what's really nifty about this, let's suppose you have a SDR uh, receiver. You could put that on this. And then you also have a receiver that is uh, uh, your radio may have a separate receiver input to where you can just input uh, on that receiver. You might want to connect that here so that same antenna can feed both the SDR receiver and your regular receiver. Or if you have a little SDR that you use for some particular application, like ADSB or something like that, you can put that on one of these over here. Be sure to take the jumper off. Now with these jumpers, when you take them off, and let's see if we can't zoom way in. Oh, I guess we're not going to. Okay, let's bring this up here. Okay, if you take the jumper off, like ah, that. Okay, I just took the jumper off you can put it back and hang it on one of the wires. See how this swivels around because it's just connected to one of those wires. That's the equivalent of having the jumper off. And that's something that you can do easily, easily there. And you can put it on right there. Of course, things that you do in here, unless you do something stupid, won't, valid, won't invalidate the warranty. Okay, so there are different filters they sent me. This one right here is a low-pass filter, so anything below 30 megahertz it will pass. So you might want to put that on your HF antenna. Okay, and then here is an AM notch filter. If you're having trouble with AM broadcast stations kind of capturing your receiver, if you're close to some transmitters, here's one you can put in like on the other one here. And then uh, this is a high pass filter for anything above 30 megahertz. If you want to uh, keep that, you just want uh, high band and low band here. Now, like everything from MFJ these days, your manual is now online. You have to download your manual, okay? And the manual for this goes into quite a bit of detail. And it has this very important chart here, which is the jumper settings. And there are five jumpers, HD 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. By the way, HD stands for header. Okay. Which antenna port you want to use. If you want to have two different filters and so on, it shows how to connect the jumpers, shows where the jumpers are, shows them in a, a picture up here of the jumpers. Okay. Also got a nice schematic, which is a complete schematic, which shows not only the jumpers and everything like that, but the powertrain and so on. Note that this has got an internal fuse, which is this um, 
this thing right here. And if you connect the power leads backwards, it'll blow the fuse. So don't connect them backwards. Uh, you can have up to four ports coming out. They're independent of each other. Okay, and if you want to build your own bandpass filter for a given band, because you've got like a dipole on that band, and you want just that to come in, it shows you how to build here, although you'll need to get the blank circuit board from MFJ, and right now they don't, they don't appear to have that on their uh, website. Okay, so what are we looking at here? We are looking at the MFJ 8504, which is a distribution amplifier, where you can take one or two antennas and distribute the results to four software-defined receivers. They don't have to be software-defined receivers. They can be any receivers. They could be your rigs receive only uh, port, uh, or it could go to a shortwave receiver or to a scanner or something like that. Okay, now these outputs are very broadband. They'll have everything. If you have two antennas, one for high, one for low, you get high and low on each of these. I will grant you that it's somewhat niche. However, this gives you an opportunity to connect several receivers to a single antenna without having to disconnect all the time at the expense of the $150 unit plus these if you need, if you need uh, the filters. You may not need the filters. I have. Um, I've got one antenna coming in right now that's the output of my uh, radio's little tap for RF energy. Okay, and I could put this out to multiple receivers if I want to compare two receivers and so on. You'll be putting out the same signal down here. Now these amplifiers, you don't need to worry about them. They're what are called unity gain, meaning 0 dB, meaning they don't raise the signal, they don't lower the signal. What goes in comes out. But these are separated from each other electrically. So if one of them has a little noise, like it's an, a regen receiver or something, it won't get back into the others. So that's a nice little uh, thing that you can add there. So a brief review of the MFJ8504, which, caveat, was sent to me by MFJ. By the way, <laughs> without any input from me, they just sent it. It's a new product. They want people to see they've got something really serious out there for the people who are really into shortwave listening or scanning or uh, just have a bunch of SDRs that they'd like to compare and, and try against each other and so on. So, very interesting. There you have it. Uh, please take the time to subscribe. Uh, as I've mentioned multiple times now, um, your subscription to this channel means you are telling YouTube that my channel has your vote of confidence. Now, that doesn't obligate you to do anything. If, in addition, you want notifications of new videos on here, you can click the bell. Now, YouTube no longer sends out email notifications of new videos. I don't know why, but I know it's made it hard for me to find all my favorite channels because I don't get notification, but I guess there are other channels that they use for that now. Uh, ask somebody who's a teenager. They'd be more up to date on that than I am, that's for sure. Also, if you would, please go to decastlercom slash support and look for um, ways that you can help fund this channel. And until we next meet, 73.